Nice. Well, you know what? I'm saving my energy because I am going to a bunch of EDM festivals this summer. Are and you? I, yes, I, I'm going to Lightning in a Bottle with Bruno. It's going to be crazy. Oh, yes. It's going to be transformational for him. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, that actually leads into today's top story. Hey! Yay! Okay, um, you know, I always tell you there's a bunch of topics that we're going to talk about over and over again. We're going to talk about Trump. We're going to talk about immigration. We're going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about feminism. But you're going to have to get used to us talking a lot about EDM culture. And because we are going to be talking about certain EDM culture behaviors and especially fashions, I want to bring in our resident millennial EDM. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Now, uh, uh, Bruno uh, oh. is the host of The Edge, which yeah. airs, uh, can you fill us in? Tuesday, 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Yes. Here on LA oh, TV. Yes. On LA TV, we got a repeat Thursday. Okay. And it's yeah. going to cover pretty much everything about pop culture, the lifestyle, behind the scenes. We're going to get exclusive looks at festivals, as you we were talking yes. about. Psych for lightning in a bottle. You're going to be my rival because I'm so ignorant on all these topics. <laughs> we you know what I'm we saying? Need, we need to take you to a rave and just leave you I've there. told you, oh it's a, such a bad idea. You're going to unleash the beast. Like, I don't think it's going to be safe for people for me to get drunk. Are you that dangerous, honey, when you, you get, get drunk? drunk? I mean, with that yes, jacket? Yes, I am. You're like those girls in college that don't do anything and then they send them off to, like, yes. university and se alborotan, you know? I'm just... I had one girl that, like, literally, she had to go to the hospital because she got, uh, you know, she had suffered from alcohol poisoning. I'm like, oh, yes. I didn't even know you could get poison from alcohol. I feel... <laughs> you didn't know that you could... Yeah. I've mean, never seen anyone Dennis. get that drunk. You're right. But I because you know to... why? Because she didn't eat anything and her stomach was oh. empty. That's how you get alcohol I poisoning. I have puked blood. Oh, my Ew. God. Whoa. Now, I have one girl that... Uh, no. She didn't puke blood. She, like, issue. had blood come out of her nose because she was doing too much coke. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. By the way, no. um, ask her if she's busy this week and we're going to take it to a party. <laughs> uh, listen, let's get to the to some things. You know, we're gonna, we talk a lot about the culture and we talk a lot about the behavior, but one very uh, obvious thing about EDM culture is the way people dress. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a lot about self, uh, radical self-expression. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay. So let's look at some pictures of the way people are dressing in some of these EDM things. Okay. And what do you think about oh. outfits like that? Is that a great couple? Look at it. I it's like post-apocalyptic. So you think that's sexy? Oh my God, I find it so sexy. It reminds me of that movie with um, Tina Turner. What's that movie called that they uh, just made? Yeah, Mad Max. Mad Thunder. Max. That is exactly what Ooh. it looks like. Now I'm just thinking, if you're in the desert, right. isn't that thing like making you just sweat up a storm? Oh my absolutely. God. Like, absolutely. Probably their butt it's so sweaty and melting. But they look so hot, it doesn't matter. And it looks hot. Yeah. Well, you, wouldn't you mind? Like, well, you know what I noticed? Smelly? Hot people, they smell better when they sweat than, like, you know, <laughs> some of the people at Comic Con when they're wearing their superhero outfit uh, like three I days in a row. I can't believe you said this. It's the truth. <laughs> the pheromones, is that yeah, what it gorgeous is? Gorgeous people. Like, I know that if you were to sweat, you would smell amazing. Oh. <laughs> what kind of statement gonna, is that? I'm gonna lose second. I don't know about no. the science, but I okay. feel like it, it has to be well, true. Has can to be we see true. some okay. other? Let's see some other outfits and see if, if, if you guys are down with some of these other outfits. Let's go okay, through some of the more see. ridiculous yes. ones. Oh, well, they're um, all kind of ridiculous yeah. when you go. Oh, I love. Okay, what about that look? Oh. I love it. Zoo. You know, like oh, yeah. some of my tías will be like, they belong here. Te volviste el diablo. Estás loca, eres satánica. When you guys go to these things, do you wear like these extravagant headpieces or leather pieces or whatever? I'm gonna let Bruno answer second. I'll answer first. I, because I'm kind of an old school uh, oh, raver, I'm more from cane. like, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm more of the like the b-boy raver, super simple, kind of like urban, Do you, go you know, jeans. I, if it gets hot, I do. Okay. So you, you just go know. and watch people. I go, I'm more regular. Jeans, No, be bands. honest, be honest. Uh -huh. Just go and watch I, people. People watching is a very big thing when it really? comes to rage. Yeah, okay. me and my girlfriend will like load up. You are, you're worth watching. <laughs> Bruno gets a little bit more fashionable though. As you can see, you know, with the glasses, I get Yay. a little bit eclectic. <laughs> yes. I bring in my own personal style, but I, but I embellish it too, you know. I, yeah. I get a little bit crazy with the colors. I wear short shorts uh, with stuffed animals on Do you on go shirtless? Them. I go shortly if it gets Ooh. hot. If you're hot, you take your shirt. Yeah. If, sometimes it's cold. Listen, you know I mean? at night I'm wearing a hoodie, you know, okay. like a cool hoodie. Yes. I'm trying to like pop and lock. This is how I act at a rave. Yeah, like let's this see, yo, this let's see the pop and lock. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. That's what I do on that. So I can't have a crazy outfit to do that. Is this an okay outfit? You would be like the owner of the raid. They'd be like, oh my God, you're like the promoter. You're like the, yeah. Because you have a dress and you're wearing heels. You can't wear heels at a raid. Well, this is my friend Angela Fuentes, who's a fashion designer. So it's handmade. This is actually very Burning Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you cold? Is that why you're wearing this? So what is la generala? La gere. How do you say generala in Spanish? Generala. 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 Okay, la reina del sur. Do we have any more, any more, any more pictures to go through? Do we have any more ridiculous bitch. pictures of people at, at the um, at Burning Man over here? What else do we got there? What oh, in the world yeah. is that? Okay, that's, 
I they get, love it. They get like artistic. You see, so I look. Love that's it. the burning unicorn. Well, aren't they the like unicorn. suffocating yes, under that thing? I would yes. totally be a pink unicorn in uh, a festival. What about the zebra? Honey, because I'm remember, you're the zebra. Let's take you to Burning Man. Can we do that? Well, look, 100%. So we just stick a horn in a. Yeah, oh, yeah. Our two I like horns. the sound and then, of and that. And then actually, this is my favorite. Now, <laughs> guys, I, I, I want to tell you horny. a quick story. When I was younger. A horny, a horny zebra. Can you imagine? Zebra? You do that at down, woman. You do that at Burning Man, you'll make a lot of friends. <laughs> when I was younger, I convinced a friend of mine who uh, probably um, who probably took too many hits that I was an alien. Hits of what? I'm not gonna tell you because then we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Show, check this out, look at this alien costume. Yes. There's oh, wow. people at what Burning Man the? and Rays believe yeah. that aliens are part of the scene. I have friends that really believe that like the, the EDM culture uh -huh. is like some implant from alien worlds. Does the E stand okay. for ET? Is that what it is? Extraterrestrial or something? He looks like ET. It, e. it no, does. I, that thing looks like ET. It's a little bit creepy though. There's a lot of creepy uh, stuff going yes. on too because okay. people are trying, <laughs> one thing about these, cult, these, uh, these festivals is uh -huh. it's radical self-expression. So okay. some of them are a little creepy, some of them are a little weird, some of them are a little fun, and not everyone's under Drugs, by the way. Oh, yeah. the oh no, they're right. People right. are not on drugs. True. Yeah, but they're on alcohol, yeah. right? Well, no, okay. even like like these intentional festivals, like lightning mm -hmm. in a bottle. Uh -huh. um, you know, ultra is another story, but <laughs> <laughs> lightning in a bottle. Ultra is in Miami, and it's just boom, boom, Anything boom. Goes in Miami. Rave, rave, rave. Yeah. But there really are places where people come for spiritual awakening too, and it's the greater community that actually plays a part in that. Because uh, yeah, other people might be on whatever, but oh. if yeah. you choose to have your own experience with no substance, yeah. then that, you know that's how, your prerogative. How do you manage to uh, get in touch with your spirit when you're in the middle of partying? That's what I'm saying. To me, that's a double standard, and that's why I'm going. I have to watch your show. It's such yes. a double standard because there's <laughs> alcohol, drugs, and then there's spiritual reality. Uh, yeah, I'm like, come can on, I, people. Oh. Can, can I tell you? We are <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen. This is and, and and what happens is half the half the party is usually looking at the other half like. You people. <laughs> and it's usually the people on drugs looking at the spiritual people going, those people are cuckoo. <laughs> what I'm saying? By the way, Dennis, uh -huh. you get one final thought and then you gotta toss it. No, I'm like, I'm, it's like when I hear about these churches where they're singing reggaeton. I'm like, how could you be talking about God <laughs> and boot, be booty bumping at church? Seriously. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> exactly, yes. No yes. spirituality. No.